Hello everyone, welcome to another Steel Speaks video, and we are so lucky to have a gentleman from the Sanctuary Discord server, the Sanctuary Development Team. He is new to the team. Would you please introduce yourself? Hi, yeah, I'm Max JK0. Uh, you just call me Max. Uh, I was a graduate from Kent State University. I am the new community manager for Sanctuary. I joined looking for the position as the Kickstarter manager. Um, that fell through, but I met with the team. I met Time Vira, Tatsu, and everybody. We talked a lot. He hit it off. Um, we made some friendships, and I liked the game. And so I stayed on the Discord, stayed up to date. Uh, Time Vira, eventually, he had to step down from being community manager. He got real busy. Um, he's still on the project. He's still you know, doing the development work. They were looking for some volunteers to be the new community manager. I said, hey, I like what you guys got here. I've got you know community management experience. Let's do this. All right. That's cool. Well, welcome aboard. We're really glad to have you. Time Vert did an amazing job. We were really lucky to have him, and I enjoyed my time with him. So hopefully, we have a really great time with you, and I'm pretty sure we will. I look forward to it. What did the Sanctuary development team work on in September? All right, so we've had a good amount of time working on the VFX and a little bit on the map editor as well this uh, this uh, month. Really? That's pretty cool. Yeah. I look forward to hearing about that map editor. So tell us more about the visual effects. What went on there? All right, so we have made a lot of improvements doing the particles and explosions for the VFX. We have a almost procedural kind of way of doing it, adding the particles and explosions to the units. We have added regular performance improvements like anti-aliasing, map texture detail improvements that make it you know, look better, um, and some performance things to make it run better. We removed the trees for the time being because it they were way too many polygons and too high of textures. So that's what we've got going with that. So you guys made the trees too pretty. Yeah. <laughs> so hopefully you guys figured that one out. So we need some trees. You mentioned a map editor. How is that going? So we've got a lot of improvements with that. We've got the terrain tools going on. We've got all sorts of lighting tools. We've got texture layers. You can change the color. You can change the texture on you know the fly pretty much. You know, just go open up Photoshop or something like that. You can save, you modify your texture and save the new image and it shows up real quick. You've got you know normal map, you detail layers, all that good stuff. Um, specular map, reflections. It's looking really good. Yeah. Huh. So all the important things that a map editor would need. I like it. So that's absolutely that's some good improvements there. What are the sanctuary <laughs> development team working on in October? All right. So we're going to do some models and some rigging. We want to have uh, 20 units fully rigged per faction. Uh, I believe that the, I think it's the EDA has uh, a head start on that one. They might have more. Um, and we want to do some IK rigging too. Um, and then we also want to get the map editor fully functional. Okay. So what exactly is IK? That's hard to explain, but the simplest way I would put an IK movement is if you had it on a character, rather than having to say, oh, when the arm is extended, move this joint up and this one over. This is a way of like having it so like you can like pull on just the hand and like, you know, move it and then it calculates everything in between. Um, it can be used not just on, you know, people, but it can be used on like tanks or, uh, you know, walker units or something like that, you know, all sorts of things. So it keeps the joint articulation like realistic. So it doesn't like rag. It, it does the. Yeah, it does the joint articulation for you. You have to, you know, fine tune a lot of it yourself, but right. um, it makes it much easier because otherwise you're rotating this, and then oh, suddenly that's clipping through the floor, and you gotta move it like that. Oh, that didn't look realistic, you know, all that good stuff with animation. It really takes the burden off doing a lot of things. And if you're doing procedural animation, like if they're going over terrain themselves it can just calculate that on the fly. So like, say you have a game where you're, you know, going up a staircase rather than like having to animate, you know, legs going up different 
angle staircases, right? You just have it do a script, say, okay, do the IK animation frames for a 30 degree angle or a 60 degree angle, you know? Okay. Now that is going to be very, very good to see with the spider bots because yeah. there's a whole lot of bots with the, the legs I've noticed in last month's yeah. episode. So We're those- probably not going to be able to finish all of them. We, we want to try to get started on doing that for all of them. <laughs> okay, well, started yeah. is... You got to start somewhere, right? Yeah, absolutely. Wonderful. Oh, and also, we hope... Not guaranteed yet, but we hope to be able to start showcasing some gameplay. Oh, beautiful. Okay. We are also doing some work on the UI. I, I do not have all the details on that one uh, yet. And we are starting to add in the audio effects. We have it made. We're trying to implement it. We have some of it made, and we're trying to implement that. Great. So, all right. All that sounds super important and super interesting. I look really forward to see all that come. Octo- well, it is October now, but I look forward to seeing more of that mm-hmm. later on in the month. So, guys, remember when the Sanctuary Kickstarter comes to life. And seriously, if you guys want to back this, I know I will be backing it. So, that is the way to really help support this project as well as the patreon they got a patreon going on you could definitely support them right now give them some cash at the moment but the real way is going to be the kickstarter so seriously guys if you want to follow the sanctuary development on your own join the sanctuary discord server the link is in the description down below also the youtube channel the link is in the description down below or their website of course i have that linked you know where down below so anything else you need to say there max jk i will add we are working on our social media presence so following us on twitter and our reddit page it'll be a big help we're trying to get all that up too if you can spread the news about the kickstarter once once it's live that'll be just about as helpful as participating in it too so spread the gospel of sanctuary people. Make <laughs> Absolutely. A, that happen. So they want to be seen. We want to see them. So let's make this happen. So anyhow, is that all we got to talk about? I think that's all for this month. Wonderful. So anyhow, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video and staying up to date on the Sanctuary development yeah thank you so much for having me and uh, i look forward to doing some more of these talks all right thank you so much for being on it was really great getting to know you and it was great having you here everybody have a wonderful day share with your friends family and foes because they need something interesting to watch as well and as always everyone g g